Hello everybody, welcome back. I uh, have a couple new things happening. I actually have a, uh, a leak in the return plumbing pipes. Now, if some of you might have remembered, I bought this off of Craigslist and all these pipes and stuff were attached. And with this kind of crazy plumbing system that they've had, you know, I figured it would be okay, but there is actually a leak right up in there. I don't know if you can see the salt creep on it, but you know, it's, it's not leaking in necessarily in the union or yeah, this union part, but it's actually leaking all the way up to right there. I'll back this out, start from the top. So there's the bottom, and then there's a bunch of these 45s in here. I think this went through a floor back when it was originally installed. So it went through a floor, and that's why you had all these funky 90s and everything like that. And they get, there's even a, uh, like a, a drain, or if you wanted to cap and do something else to a chiller or whatever. But, um, you know, it's, it's reduced down a bunch of different times and reduced up. It's a one inch coming out of the top of the return to a inch and a half. This whole thing is an inch and a half T. And then they got this fancy Y here, but that's an inch and a half or an inch. I'm sorry, this part here is an inch and these are three quarters going out. So um, the plumber, you know, made what he had to do work for him. But that's where the leak is at exactly. So I have to figure out a way to fix that. Now luckily, I can just turn off that valve there and that valve there. And I won't have a big suction where I don't have to drain the whole tank, I hope. Um, and then this part here coming up and in, I can actually turn off that valve right behind the stud there. So with a bucket and um, you know, let it drain a little bit, you can cut it off. And then I went online and found this. This is a fancy Y. It's a one inch by two three quarters, and it's exactly what I'm hoping I'm, I need. Um, it was pretty expensive. It's not something you can go to Home Depot and find. So I had to go online and try and find it, and you know, luckily I did find it, but it's gonna take care of all that bullshit up back in there. Now, originally I was going to use this, you know, get, a, get an inch and a half Y, and then get all these bunch of reducers, you know, for the one inch going in to the inch and a half, and then two, three quarters reducers going out. But I mean, that's, that's a huge, It'll hurt your flow a lot. It'll work, sure, but you know it's gonna really smack down your flow. It's just your standard union, but it's you know again it's inch and a half union down to one inch, and that was if I needed it. But you know I figure you can get the right stuff at the right time. Just have to take some patience and look for it. And uh, you know luckily the leak was pretty small to where I could. Uh, um, find this, get this stuff here shipped out, and uh, you know, just put some put some uh, bowls down in there to collect the leak, and um, you know, it work out. So, stay tuned for the next part. Um, also, a little side note: what the hell is all this red stuff in here? I have no idea. I, you know, I got this this Cheeto from a, another guy for local forums, and um, I don't know. I, it's, it's, is it some type of red algae that's just growing and multiplying? But I have, I have no idea what that is. If anybody knows, you know, advise me because I sure as hell don't. Um, and then hold on for I, and then one more week because uh, we are going to show you the update of the LEDs in Miracle Mud after one month of usage. Uh, I've been making testing, testing it once a week for calcium and alkalinity and uh, everything, but um, I'm having some problems with some stony corals. I do not know why. 
um, they're they're either bleaching out, getting brown, or or what. But hold on to that video, and we'll show you that in a week. Thanks a lot. Bye.